Hey kids, Steve coming back at you today, and not only is it a mail day from Papa Jay's Cards, with I believe something I won from him, we'll see once I open it, I went to a baseball card show today where stuff was very expensive, and one guy had all the blasters of all the football and all the hanger packs, just insane prices, and one guy said, hey, uh, can you come down any on those? I mean, he's asking 60 70 bucks for a blaster, 25 for a hanger. And he's like, no, this is about what I got into him, so I really can't make many deals. And another guy down said, but I've seen you clearing out the Target on 95th and Quivera by Oak Park Mall. He goes, well, that was me. That was somebody else. And this guy is huge. I mean, probably 6'2", 350, 375 tattoos. And indoors was wearing some red Kansas City Chief sunglasses. And the other guy's like, no, that was you. Obviously, you can't fake all of this, and you were wearing them glasses. So I just grabbed a few things and left. I have no time for flippers, no time for people taking the fun out of this. But... At the baseball card store, I bought storage boxes, and in a minute I'll show you what else I got from them. And at the card show, I spent 40 bucks at the card store with tax. It came to an even 42, and then at a antique mall, I think it was 1176 after tax, so I'll, or 1076. Sorry, but I'll get to the rest of it in a moment. Okay, here we are back at my table so I can show you everything else. There's the mail day from Papa J. I will open last. First, they had a dealer there who had a bunch of Panini stuff, and I picked up this, and I looked at it. He said, oh, those are free. If you want one, take one. So I did. No idea what's in it. We'll do an opening on it. It says trading card game, but I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to see what it's about. And then they had the Panini mask which is pretty cool but I collect hats and I got a panini baseball hat all three of these were free and the guy wasn't even from panini but he must be a dealer or something through them because he had a ton of all this stuff so I thought that was really cool then at the show remind you I said I spent forty dollars even there I did pick up one of these. It was 15 which I thought was expensive considering I'm getting a case of 12 off eBay shipped of University of Wisconsin. And every box looks like it contains the full team set of 49 base cards. Now, it says 80 because... There are, in every box you can get from someone in that school's past, jersey relic or an autograph. And everyone knows the big ones to come out of KU are Danny Manning for basketball and Gale Sayers for football. So that'd be cool. If I pull a Gale Sayers, I will put that next to my Gale Sayers autograph mini helmet from the Bears Hall of Fame. So that's awesome. This costs 15 but the case of 12, University of Wisconsin, exact same deal. Off eBay shipped, $89.95. So I'm getting a deal. Then I did get a bunch of relic cards because I like my Hall of Famers. I like relics. I love them. And I had to get these. Like here's a Raleigh Fingers numbered number. 24 of 99, 24 of 99, charter member of the 300 Save Club. He was the first to do it. Milwaukee Brewer, Hall of Famer from Chronicles. He had that marked at four. Then I did get one rookie card, a Kyle Lewis, triple patch, number 94 of 99 from Absolute. He had that marked eight. That was the most expensive card I bought at that show. Going to be a Hall of Famer, so get him now. Miggy Cabrera, Miguel Cabrera, first baseman, Jersey. Not numbered, but again, going to be a Hall of Famer. Five bucks is what he had it for. 
Blast, pa Blast of the Past. It's a bat relic. Throwback bat relic. Numbered, oh, there's a number, 162 at 250. I was looking for that. Of Mike Piazza. Again, Hall of Famer. He had it at four bucks. SPX, trip, or single patch. Those two are just shiny foil. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer, ex brewer. This is when he was finishing with the Padres for three bucks. Not numbered, but you know what? Oh, yeah. Wow, it is. I didn't even see that. 160 at 199. And because I bought. All this stuff from the guy, I'm like, what can you do? Because he knows I was looking at that. A Larry Boa autograph on card. Hometown signatures. It was for, he just threw that in. And it even said, um, there, there was just no budging Boa. Once he took over Philadelphia, starting a shortstop gig from Don Money, who, by the way, because of that, went to the Milwaukee Brewers and played second base and played a hell of a second base for years. He entrenched himself there for a dozen seasons. In 1980, Boa excelled throughout the postseason, hitting 375 against Kansas City Royals in the World Series en route to a six-game triumph. So I thought this was really cool, and it says the autograph is guaranteed by Panini, Inc. So an on-card Larry Bow autograph. I have a friend who has a friend who loves the Phillies, loves Larry Boa. So this is going to be put right in the mail. I have no qualms about that. I buy for people. That's always fun. Now, at the antique mall I went to, Hollywood History, Dual Materials, numbered 45 of 50 from Upper Deck, Maine Men. As you can tell, I paid 10 bucks for it, and I didn't even quabble about that, because listen to who the Maine Men are. Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And any guesses who the Maine Man is next to him? It's a tank top. He has been gone, God, four decades, five, car accident, ring a bell. It's a James Dean tank top. If any parents out there need to explain to their kids who James Dean is, then you can have them explain to you who the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or Will Smith is. But for 10 bucks, I'm okay with or without the... Will Smith. He's great. He's good. You ain't gonna get another tank top piece from James Dean. Those are very rare. Um, he, like I said, he's been gone for, what, 40, 50 years? Just, you won't see or find any of that. The only thing that would have made it better is if there's a piece of his leather jacket, but he was buried in that. So that's the one thing I found at the antique mall. Now, for everything else from the baseball card store, so basically, ten dollars plus tax came like ten seventy six. Just this, forty, forty bucks even, with the free Larry Boa he threw in. At the baseball card store, I'd seen these and I wanted to get them for Allen and Ginter. The Ultra Pro does make tobacco sized top loaders. He didn't even have any unopened. I asked him for some. He said, you know what, I'm sold out. Oh, wait a minute, you've been here before, and this is a great, great place. I go here once a week since I did find it, and again, they know I do YouTube. They enjoy the shout-outs, they watch. The Baseball Card Store, LLC, and um, his eBay ID is B-B-C-A-R-D-S-T-O-R, -R. no E, just BB Card Store with no E at the end. And their website, BB Card Store at Hotmail.com. I'm sorry, that's an email address, but that does have an E at the end. They're in Overland Park, Kansas. Open Tuesday through Friday, noon 30 to 6, Saturday 11 to 4 30. Don't know why the short and Saturday hours when, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when. Everyone has off. Close Sunday and Monday, which I understand Monday. Sunday again, when we can all go. But you know what? 
I almost bought a box today, and I hope I do. Last one he has, 1990-91 Upper Deck Premier Edition Hockey, still factory sealed for 10 bucks. He has stuff crazy cheap. I mean, so basically, when I bought everything from him, he threw these in. I said, how much do you want for him? He said, yeah, throw them in there. We'll get more. I'm like, that's awesome, dude. My own and Ginter will fit in those. Now... I got from his dollar bin. It may not seem like much to you guys, but there's 24 packs here. And I picked through. I got just the ones I want. All the 88 Fleer cello packs that he had. I've not gone through them. See who's on it. There's, I don't even know. Oh, Jack Clark on the back. Big deal. But it is an insert. But anyway, let's count up and see what I got. And... I got the other ones I'm going to show you because there's two of my guys on it, and they are Hall of Famers as well. So, once I get all these back every which way, they only had two of the 92 tops in there, so I'll crack those at some time. You can't go wrong. They were a dollar each. But I had no problem paying that since I did pick up all of these. So, I got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, eight, 17 packs of the Fleer Cellos from 88. Two of the Pseudo Wax Packs from 92. I think there's a gold in each pack. Maybe not. I can't remember if there was in here or not. It doesn't matter. I just threw them in. I had such a good deal here. I took those. But four 1987 Tops baseball cello packs. And all these were a dollar each. I had no problem. And I looked at the first two. I'm like, eh, what do you do with that? Rip them. Whatever. And then the last two. Actually, one's an 89, but... Robin Yount showing Hall of Famer, Milwaukee Brewer, my boy, the kid. And in 89, with Paul Molitor showing for a buck. I'm, fi I'm figuring, you know what? I have no problems with that. I am going to get those with it, too. So there you go. That was my big, big deal of the day. I got all those storage boxes you saw. These, which ain't a full box. And all the packs for 42 bucks, and that included tax. Came to 42 even. This with James Dean for 10. And you know I like the odd, the eclectic. I mean, I'm eccentric. Call me what you will, experimental. But I like all that kind of stuff. Which brings me to Senor Papa J. If this is what I think it is. And I'm probably the only one that could have won this from him and been more tickled by what came with it as the freebie. If you watch his stuff, when he gives stuff away, every pack has a numbered card in it, a number index card, and that corresponds with a special prize you get in the background. And I thought I was going to get something. 487 score packs or something like that not score but sport flicks which I've seen people get but instead hide that I drew number 22 which I will save for the very end oh look an unsealed bubble wrap great I still need supplies they are still running out even my baseball card store was out of regular top loaders so I couldn't get any Number 22. We'll get to that in a moment here. Now, the pack that he opened, his mystery pack, Daryl Strawberry, big deal. We got Cooperstown Ballpark, again, big deal. Tommy Lasorda, Hall of Famer, I'm okay with that. I did get a Anthony K. Rookie card from Gypsy Queen without the name, so variation. No, it does have a name, sorry. My eyes are playing tricks. 87, uh, 87, Jesus. 18 highlights, Juan Soto. I believe that's from Archives last year. 
That's pretty sweet. Uh, we got Justin Dunn, rookie card, rated rookie. It kind of feels thick, but it's regular. Soaring in the six with Vladdy. So, you know, that's okay. Got a Michael Brantley, 85 tops design, 84 tops design. I got to learn my stuff here. Got a Javi Baez, regular, not special about that. Got a Rafael Devers. Can't go wrong with that. Then the two hits in there. And a lot of people might remember Jose Vidro on card autograph. That's pretty nice. Got the regular front, but that definitely is looks like the 85 tops design for the back. 85 75 tops design for the back. And I got a fabric of the game. Again, not a big name player. But it is a Cliff Floyd. So, you know, it's numbered 182, 275. Now, the coup is, and like I said, I was probably the one person to get this as most stoked to see this. It's a 1962 top stamps, graded FGS. No idea who they are, nor do I care. But it's just something you ain't going to see all the time. Granted, it's a no-name player, but it got a near mint min 8. And it's Julian or Julian Javier top stamp. So I figure, what the heck? I love this kind of stuff. I love all the oddball, weird stuff. So I will definitely, definitely cherish this. Plus, it was a freebie win. So I hope you all had a great Saturday. Hope you enjoyed my Saturday cartoon Saturday morning cartoons video earlier and with with all of that being said I will once again wish everybody nothing but good fortune be excellent to each other and as always peace